Hello again, I would like to go ahead and uh, continue with the fifth video and this is hopefully the last one where we're going to actually uh, talk about reports. I already built a query as you notice here and I saved it accordingly and I wanted to go ahead and start uh, by building or creating the form based on the query. So I'm going to go ahead and start create and I'm going to go to the report wizard because most of the thing that we do with the report is to present our findings, whatever we went through to get to the stage that I wanted to share my uh, calculation or my uh, query or whatever I decided to do uh, uh, with the list of the data. This is the moments that I'm going to really be able to share some kind of result with other people. And of course I have here the table and the query. For sure when we use the uh, report, we, most of the time we build a report based on a query that we've worked or, uh, with it for a while. I'm going to uh, include everything in the query that I put in the query in the report and we're going to go next and next and of course I have the chance here to uh, uh, sort things of course I could sort by book name and maybe based on the the price uh, if I have two uh, books named with the same name for whatever reason then the one with the lower price will be coming first uh, just like when we do sort uh, uh, people's name with the last name Smith, if we have 10 of them, then we sort them by last name, then first name. Of course, maybe after that by another uh, uh, piece of data like salary. And I'm going to go ahead and leave that as portrait because I don't have a lot of data. If I have a lot of data, then I will change it to landscape because it will give me a horizontal view for that. And I'm going to go ahead and say preview the report. However, I'm going to change that report to RPT as the first three letters or prefix. And here we go. It's very easy, very quick. Everything actually uh, shows here, except I need to play with it a little bit or tweak it. Tweak it is a better word. I'm going to tweak that a little bit. Uh, of course, I'm going to close that print preview. And I'm going to go to the view here and change it through the layout. Okay, the layout is going to really make it look a lot better. So I'm going to click on this. And first of all, I don't want that prefix here in the show the page. I need that just for the name here. See here? Uh, what is, I could go ahead and use the word report. Sorry, I clicked here. I'm going to use the word report. Report all the books greater than or equal to $85 and have hard copy. Uh, you could actually reward that however you want. Uh, of course, I could also go ahead and choose this one here. I'm going to press the shift key to uh, do the three of uh, everything here and make it go to the home and make it bold. Okay. Uh, of course, we need to go ahead and uh, select all that. One second here, I'm going to go ahead and undo. I need this in here. I wanted to go ahead and put the price a little bit, push it a little bit. Data publication is uh, a big title, and we need to go ahead and maybe uh, push this a little bit here. Okay, and take that a little bit center. And data publication, the price is too big, so we're going to go ahead and push the whole thing here. And as you notice, it's going to take a little bit of tweaking. See here, I'm going to also take that and uh, push it a little bit. Now it's going to give me more room for my data publication. And this one here, I could even push it a little bit toward the center. You know, I know this is all hard copy. Here we go. Uh, of course, I could go ahead and do that. And I will be able to do a lot more than that. Uh, if I go to the... <coughs> design here I could go ahead and put uh, something like uh, here at the bottom I could add uh, the total for all the uh, prices and I could do that personally by adding uh, I'm going to show you this uh, by adding a what we call here <coughs> uh, a text box so what are we going to do I'm clicking here and I'm going to go to this one here and text box I'm going to add it and text box always add for me uh, a label that goes with a total of the price. And this is going to show me as impound, meaning it doesn't belong to any specific uh, 
uh, table here. So I'm going to actually do the calculation myself. Similar to Excel, I'm going to say here sum, but I'm summing here between parentheses the price. And as you'll notice here, it's going to be a little bit of work if I could go to the report and show the print preview. It's going to show me the total. However, it doesn't show it to me with a uh, dollar sign. So what I'm going to do here is to go close this and click on this one here. And we could go ahead either to, uh, actually the best way I could do it to could go formatting and we could just do like this, okay? And I immediately change it to the formatting. Of course, another way is to click on the right button on this one here and go to the property then you could go to the format and choose the currency. Uh, either way, uh, it will do. I mean, there's a lot of different characteristics associated with uh, how we chain those objects. Of course, this is beyond the scope of this class. But at least I want you to know that it's really there if you case you wanted to expand your knowledge in your own in the future. And of course, the easiest way is to go ahead and choose those formatting directly from the toolbar from the design here. As you notice, if we have report design, we have a range. You could do the, the format, which has something to do with all the changes. Of, for example, I wanted the name to be bold. I need this to be bold also. So I'm going to actually click on the shift key to select all these. And of course, could make them all bold if you want. And of course, always go back to the view in order to change all that. So we're going to go to the home, go to the view, and look at the report view in order to show all these different things that we had. You notice here the total is becoming actually with the dollar sign because I went into the report uh, format and changed it to the dollar sign. It takes a little bit of play uh, with the uh, uh, axis. It's nothing really difficult except the fact that uh, it could be overwhelming to people who uh, cannot keep track with all the, uh, keep up with all these different object starting with the table uh, we go to form from after that to go back to the queries and from the query is to send the data that we filtered or the question uh, to the report and just having to work with this example or create your own example for such something like the list of your cds uh, a list of computers or list of cars a list of uh, or whatever you want basically uh, you could create a table and we could actually go through the multiple step that we had to go through in order to get to this stage i thank you for watching and there is more to access but i'm sure by watching these videos you have learned quite a lot thanks